the Listen's wife reacts to Liverpool keeper's Pickford moment against Everton. Alison's wife clearly enjoyed watching her husband make fun of Jordan Pickford as Liverpool defeated Everton in Sunday's entertaining Merseyside derby. The Reds kept pace with Manchester City at the top of the Premier League table thanks to second-half goals from Andy Robertson and substitute Divock Origi. Before their resistance was broken in the 62nd minute, Everton did a fine job of frustrating Liverpool, and co-commentator Jamie Carrer could not hide his fury about alleged play acting from Richarlison. During an ill-tempered first half, Pickford also made sure he used every possible second before releasing the ball, adding to the anger of the Anfield crowd. At one point, the England number one collected the ball and fell to turf, while under no pressure from any Liverpool player, even appearing to wink at his teammates as he did so. Alisson had the perfect response for his opposite number in the closing seconds of the match, when the Reds were two goals to the good and hit the deck after making a routine save to deny fellow Brazilian Richarlison. Footage of the amusing moment was shared widely on social media and Alison's wife, Natalia Becker, liked many clips and posts about her husband on Twitter. And an individual boost for the former Roma shot stopper, his clean sheet against the Toffees saw him pull clear of city rival Ederson in the race for the Golden Glove, with 19 shutouts for the season compared to his compatriots 18. That being said, the Sky Blues have a slender advantage in the title race with a one-point lead over Liverpool with five games remaining. A draw against Everton could have put an end to the Reds' title hopes and Jurgen Klopp spoke of the need to take risks in order to turn the tide in the derby. The situation in the table is clear for us, so no news, the Liverpool boss told reporters after the match. Is Alisson the best goalkeeper in the world? Have your say in the comments. But to win the game you have to change things, that's true. I'm not sure it was brave. We tried to adapt as well in the protection, because obviously Anthony Gordon was on his bike a couple of times and we cannot leave then Joel Matip constantly there alone. We told Trent Alexander-Arnold to play from a little bit deeper, and we wanted Fab Fabinho, that side as well, so we knew where the threat is coming from, but still could not always defend it in the first place. That's how it is. If you don't take risks you cannot win a football game, that's how it is. It was obviously easy to improve today from the first half and we did. That's why it's all good.